But I want you to think for a moment about another kind of belief. A kind of belief that's often so transparent to us that we don't even recognize it as belief. Here's an example. Every one of you came into this room today and you sat down in an auditorium seat. And you did that without, first of all, peeking underneath to make sure that seat was properly attached and checking to make sure that it had been properly maintained. Rather, you simply took it on faith. You believed that the chair would hold you up, and you did that because for your entire lifetime, you've sat in seats like these, and and rarely, if ever, has one given way underneath you. Maybe once or twice, but not regularly, right? Right? Your general experience with chairs has created in you a belief in the reliability of the average chair. And it's not the kind of belief that you think about. It's not cognitive and it's not conscious. Rather, it's implicit and subconscious. It's pre-cognitive. It's something you just take for granted. Here's what that reveals. It reveals that we can't function in life without believing. The fact is, all of us are believers. The question is merely what we believe. And as my example about the seat you're sitting in illustrates, the question is also, do we understand the things we implicitly believe? See, when Christians recite the Apostles' Creed, when we as Christians say, I believe, we are not declaring that we believe We are declaring what we believe. We aren't saying we Christians believe and other people's don't. We're saying here is what we believe. Here's the substance, the content of our beliefs. Because all of us are believers in something at some level. 